Hello, I'm uh, Walker Eisley, the curator of this exhibition titled Synaptic. This exhibition explores the brain and how to interpret in a tangible way its mysterious functions. The most vexing mystery of the brain may be how ephemeral thoughts, images, feelings or emotions arise from pure matter. How can that be? The sciences have no good answers, so we turn to the artists for help. My name is Laurie Frick and uh, the piece is Your Brain on Music. And I was really inspired by the show last year. So I decided to really like step it up and do something really ambitious. There's, you actually take a stack of glass, you fire it in a kiln and it melts into a puddle. So it took me a little over three months. Uh, then you wire them and my husband came and helped me install. There's about 3,000 in there. I mean, I hope people get this idea of getting inside of your head. My name is Bailey Liu. I'm an installation artist based in Austin, Texas. And the piece I create for Sculpture Month Houston is titled Hold On. We heard the news of the shooting at Uvalde. It's been on my mind to do a project in response to this traumatic event that our community is still processing and trying to comprehend. So the title of the work reflects this question. What are we holding on to? How do we hold on? My name is Hillary Olsenbach. I am from Dallas, Texas. I traveled to Houston for this show where I put Tan in a silo. She's a character that doesn't really exist. You see her, but there's really no rhyme or reason to her. Everything she says is out of context. She's otherworldly. She's like a walking past a crowd of people and you just hear a part of a conversation and you have nowhere to place it. The whole purpose was to make you feel very overwhelmed. That's kind of the experience that you get with Tan. And I'm Stefan Hellebrand. And our piece is called Electrically. We're doing this crazy experiment. We are taking photographs of our home, then with live electricity, electrically charging the photographs. It's a really dangerous process. So we thought of the, the roundness of these spaces as kind of like literally your head. The kind of mishmash of information that's inside your brain was what we were trying to, to reflect back into the silos. My name is Ronald Llewellyn Jones. I'm an artist that lives outside of Houston, but works primarily in the Houston area. Not everything that I create can be vocalized, or I don't have the vocabulary to speak to certain things. What this space is allowed for is to have this larger conversation with all these different mediums that I've developed the vocabulary with over the past several years, and to make a, a next bit that I feel speaks to what I wanted to create.